What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look again at the Xenophage, but specifically some weapons that actually perform better overall and actually offer some diversity when it comes to loadout. And we're going to cover some weapons today that I think are going to really surprise you. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. If you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, let's jump into the video. Now a discussion we have regularly here on the channel is which weapons offer the most optimal DPS and which ones offer the best total damage. And up until now, Xenophage has really been the standout when it comes to this. We've covered a few weapons this week, things like Queen Breaker's Bow and even the Two Tail Fox, which under the right circumstances can actually compete with Xenophage. But Xenophage offers something that none of those do, and that is ease of use. And you don't need to use any mods to get the best out of it. Now, as I said in the intro, we're going to cover two weapons specifically today. And I firmly believe some of these, or at least one of these, is going to firmly surprise you. Now, an important statement to make is that the only armor mods that I'm using in this video that are offering any benefit to the weapons are reserve mods. And this is to get the highest amount of ammo capacity available for each and every one. Outside that, though, there's no extra damage dealing perks or mods being applied throughout this video. Now, in order to work out our damage per second, we're taking the damage per shot times in this by the magazine size and then dividing that by the time it takes to shoot off an entire magazine and reload. So this is taking into account both the rate of fire and the reload to give us the most accurate damage per second numbers we possibly can get. Cool. So we've got those statements out of the way. So first of all, let's take a look at the Xenophage just to see what we are up against. So the Xenophage is an exotic, powerful machine gun. It was introduced with Shadowkeep. And its intrinsic trait is pyrotoxin rounds where it fires high powered explosive ammunition now with two ammo reserve mods equipped on your armor you can hold a total of 34 rounds as an absolute maximum the only way to increase this further is by using other exotic pieces such as the actual rig which you may use if you are a titan so that's what the xenophage is as we all know and it's become the pillar stone of pretty much most damage phases now mainly because it offers consistent dps but also it has huge total damage output capacities now if we jump over into the tribute hall we can actually take a closer look at exactly what these damage numbers are now the xenophage can deliver 14,231 per round and it can hold a total of 34 rounds as an absolute maximum with two reserve mods applied to our armor. This means its total damage output capacity is 483,854, which is one of the highest total damage outputs available inside Destiny 2. Now, if we convert that into damage per second, so again, that's 14,231 per round. A magazine can hold 13 rounds and it takes 12 and a half seconds to fire that entire magazine and reload the Xenophage. As I said before in yesterday's video, it takes six seconds to reload Xenophage, which provides a total damage per second of 14,800 exactly. So as we all know, those are some pretty impressive numbers. They are consistent and they don't require a critical shot for you to get optimal damage either. Now, the first weapon we're going to take a look at today as a potential contender for Xenophage is a Sleeper Simulant. Now, the Sleeper is an exotic power linear fusion rifle, and its intrinsic trait is where the weapon's laser overpenetrates enemies and refracts off hard surfaces. It also has moving target, which helps improve your movement speed and target acquisition when you're moving and aiming down sights. Now, the Sleeper was introduced back in Warmind, and it was one of the best DPS weapons and damage weapons available inside Destiny 2 at the time. It's had a few adjustments since then, most notably some nerfs to its aim assist, especially when it comes to Gambit. But outside that, it's been in the shadow of other exotics when it comes to damage in recent seasons. Now, all the figures we're going to go through here for the sleeper are with the catalyst applied. So you most definitely need to have the catalyst in order to represent the numbers that we're going to talk through in this video. Now, the sleeper itself can hold four rounds in the magazine but it can hold 13 rounds in total. Now, each round, if we jump into the Tribute Hall, can deliver 36,787. So with 13 rounds, that's a total damage output of 478,231. So ever so slightly less overall than Xenophage so far. So how does that all convert to damage per second? Well, if we take the 36,787, times that by three, and it takes six seconds to fire all four rounds and reload the sleep at Simulant with the catalyst applied and with that in mind you're able to deliver 18,393 damage per second so 21% more than Xenophage overall. Now as always whenever we're in the tribute hall these are under perfect scenarios so on the basis that you hit every shot every crit and you don't miss a round. 
Now a key thing to also look at is real world scenario. Pretty much whenever you would use Xenophage, you could use Sleeper Simulant. They are both heavy solo weapons. They both offer excellent damage per second at range, and they offer one of the highest total damage outputs of exotic weapons available inside Destiny 2. And it's with that in mind, it's only really the total overall damage that's the main difference between the two. Other than for shorter damage windows, the sleeper will be able to deliver more damage. But what if I was to tell you there's another exotic that can deal more damage per second than Xenophage, but can match it for total damage output? Now you're going to have to bear with me with this one guys because I think this is going to surprise a lot of people and the exotic we're talking about today is Leviathan's Breath. That's right, the exotic power combat bow has a few hidden secrets. Now its main intrinsic trait is Big Game Hunter. It fires a massive heavy bolt that staggers unshielded combatants and it's strong against unstoppable champions as well. It also has a legendary trait called Leviathan Psy, where it's fully drawn, the bolt creates a large concussive blast that knocks combatants back. This weapon was introduced as part of a seasonal event, and if you don't have it, if you have the exotic Cypher, then you can go over to Master Rahul over in the tower and pick up the exotic directly from him. But before you do that, let's take a look at the numbers and see exactly what's going on here. Now the Leviathan's Breath can hold 12 rounds in total, which doesn't seem a lot, and this is with two bow ammo reserves mods applied as well. But each bow can hit for 38,799 on the basis that the bow is fully drawn each time. That means you have a total damage output of 483,854. That's exactly the same as Xenophage overall across all 34 rounds. So for just 12 rounds, that's some pretty impressive numbers, some that I wasn't expecting when I was checking out all the exotics. So what does this all look like when we look at damage per second? The key metric that we all come back to, well, if you take 38,799 damage, it can only hold one single arrow each time. It takes two and a half seconds to fire and fully reload each arrow, which means it can deliver a total damage per second of 15,519. So not only can it match the Xenophage for total damage over just 12 rounds, it can also deliver 4.75% more total damage per second when compared to the Xenophage as well. Now whilst clearly the numbers are impressive, in reality the Leviathan's Breath is a very difficult weapon to use. It's very heavy handed and it feels like a long time between each bow that needs to be fully drawn in order to make sure you're delivering optimal damage over time. If you can find yourself in the perfect scenario, then yes, the Leviathan's Breath could be a potential option. So overall, some pretty mind-blowing stuff. Yes, the Sleeper Simulant is able to deliver higher DPS than Xenophage, although it has slightly smaller total damage output capacities. The Leviathan's Breath can match the Xenophage for total damage, but it can provide a nearly 5% increase on your DPS when compared to the Xenophage directly. But as always with these videos, guys, be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Were these the numbers you were expecting? Did you even expect Leviathan's Breath to be a potential viable option when it comes to DPS, be sure to sound off down in the comment section below. Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.